going on guys tonight I'm doing a uh, brief demonstration of a new toy I've been playing with recently on my Nexus one uh, which is thick buttons uh, thick buttons is a replacement of the standard uh, Nexus one keyboard the uh, the keyboard that comes with uh, you know every version of the Nexus one the G1 they all have uh, you know basically the the same digital keyboard there and uh, just kind of fiddling with it a little bit and I wanted to show it to you guys tonight uh, first thing I want to tell you is it's really easy to install. Grab it from the market. It's thick buttons. Uh, once you have it installed, you're going to go to your settings. Head down to language and keyboard. Thick buttons is right there. You'll activate it. First thing you're going to see is that there's a whole bunch of uh, whole bunch of settings that you can mess with. There's a, a lot of features here, uh, you know, as far as vibrating on the key press and uh, automatically capitalizing a lot of the features that come with the standard uh, keyboard which I thought was kinda nice. Um, returning to the the screen here I'm going to show you just a, a brief example of thick buttons and uh, we'll let you guys decide whether or not it's something you all are going to want to try. So I'm going to bring up the magnification here, it's going to bring up the keyboard and as you can see looks like a pretty normal keyboard. The microphone is missing which is something that uh, is a personal annoyance to me but the the guys at Thick Buttons assure me that they are working on implementing the microphone feature to one of their future versions which uh, I'm personally looking forward to. I use it a lot on my Nexus one and uh, it's, it's a feature that makes me uh, want to wait until it comes out um, but I have been messing with it a little bit and uh, the keyboard itself I find, I find interesting. If I'm going to type in uh, you know, just anything. I'm gonna start. You know, I'm just gonna type in "Hello World." The first thing you're gonna see is uh, the highlight keys have actually increased in size. Now, the thought behind thick buttons is that it uh, it uses word recognition to pick up the letters that are most likely to be typed next and make them bigger to make it easier for you to type. Um, now, it misplaces the buttons. So, if you're a two-handed typer in Landscape mode, this probably isn't the keyboard for you because it's going to move the keys a little bit. It's going to throw off your, your natural typing rhythm. However, if you're a one-hand keyboarder typer like me, this is perfect. So if I go and go to E, it's going to, again, increase the size of the letters here to the most likely letters to be used. And I'm going to go ahead and just keep going. And I'm just going to go and type in hello. And, you know, it automatically drops down to, to you know, the O. And it completes the word and allows me to move on. Um, I've yet to find a word that this thing hasn't, you know, made it easier to type with one hand. Um, there is no real difference if you do this in landscape. It doesn't really matter what buttons you push. The keys do change color, uh, but the key sizes don't actually change any. So that may be something that they decide to implement later on. But again, if you're in landscape mode, then you're going to be using two hands anyway, so chances are it's it's you know going to be like two handing in land in uh, portrait, where it's just not going to be as beneficial to you. So this is just my uh, my brief little demonstration of thick buttons. If you're looking for something new, uh, keyboard you haven't tried yet, you know if you've tried the HTC keyboard and you really don't really dig it and you want to try something else, I definitely recommend the uh, the thick buttons keyboard here but you know a message to the thick button guys keep working on this you guys have got a solid product but it definitely needs some work